Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to share with you some breaking news and I believe this has major implications, especially for those of you that study end times Bible prophecy. This is recently in from Jewish News. Many other sources reporting on it. Israel kills senior Hezbollah commander in southern Lebanon as full-fledged war looms. Let me read some of this to you guys. An Israeli airstrike killed a senior Hezbollah commander in southern Lebanon on Monday today, the terror group confirmed. Wissam al-Tawal was a senior commander in Hezbollah's elite Radwan force and played a leading role in the group's southern activities near the border with Israel. Reuters quoted security officials as saying, this is a very painful strike and that things will flare up now. This is a big deal, guys, and I'll tell you why. Ever since this Israel-Hamas war started on October 7th of 2023, and we know that this conflict has been going on now for a couple months, that others are joining in the fight. We see the threats going on on all fronts surrounding Israel. Um, but we know Hezbollah, which currently has over 150,000 missiles currently pointed at Israel, has been itching to get more involved in the fight. And they've been coming out constantly now with these direct threats that they're about to full-fledged attack Israel. And now we see Israel just killed the senior Hezbollah commander in southern Lebanon? No doubt we are inching even closer to a major confrontation, not just with Hamas, Israel and Hamas, but you're seeing Hezbollah now saying that they're going to retaliate uh, and they're, they're getting ready for a full-on assault. And there's others, the other surrounding enemies of Israel are throwing their threats. So folks, what's happening? It is incredible. We need to pay attention because it involves Israel. It involves Jerusalem. It involves the Temple Mount. And Israel is God's prophetic timepiece. If you want to know what time it is on God's prophetic timeline, you watch his timepiece, the nation of Israel. Again, Israel is the hour hand, Jerusalem is the minute hand, and the Temple Mount as the second hand. And just look at what's happening right now with Israel, folks. And with Israel killing the senior Hezbollah commander in southern Lebanon, we are definitely itching closer to a major confrontation with Hezbollah and Israel. I mean, guys, we've been talking about this for months, what the Bible has to say about this. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now and everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. He's coming back one day, very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real. They're real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's horrific. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in in your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died for you. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now. 
because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.